Hello and welcome back to Makeshift Minis. Today I'm going to be making a winged serpent, which is sometimes also known as a quattle. My sister gave me the suggestion, so I thought, why not? I use a paperclip as the armature for the quattle's body. I manipulate the wires with my fingers using pliers when needed. Using thin wires, I make armatures for the wings. After tying the wings to the body, I cover it in hot glue. This firmly attaches the pieces together and helps the wires hold their shape. reinforce the wings by covering the wire in hot glue. The wire is quite thin, so it needs all the help it can get. I fill the wings with beads of hot glue that I cool off and flatten. I repeat this process until there are no gaps left in the wings. With the armature finished, I cover the body in plastic. I soak styrofoam in acetone to get a gummy plastic that I can work with once it cures its hard and lightweight. Once I finish covering the body, I flatten out a large glob of plastic to cover the wings. After letting the plastic partially cure, I use my plastic snips to clip down the winged serpent's back to make feathers. It can be tricky to time it right, but I find if I spray it down with my homemade activator, I can get a similar result without worrying about things getting too hard to work with. I add feathers to the wings using my plastic snips. These will look great once everything's painted. While I leave the snake to finish curing, I begin working on the base using borax and ground cork. It's a messy process since the superglue didn't want to cooperate.
After priming the quantal, I paint the mini black. I use a piece of cork as a painting handle so I can maneuver the mini and get to harder reach areas. Once the base coat dries, I dry brush the mini gray. Dry brushing the quattle white helps highlight the feathers and other details. With the undercoat finished, I paint the body a light blue. Once the body dries, I'm going to paint the wings with the colors of the rainbow. I begin painting the wings with a streak of red across the top. Moving through the color wheel, I paint orange on the wings and crest. Yellow tends to be a finicky color, so I'm glad it turned out well. I probably should have chosen something darker than a lime green, which just blends into the yellow. The next color I paint on the crest and wings is a deep blue. I finish painting the wings with purple, which looks annoyingly blue on camera. To help blend everything together, I lightly dry brush the mini with an off-white. As I put the mini aside to dry, I paint the base brown. Since there's so much texture on the base, the undercoat works very well with the glaze. Once everything dries, I attach the mini to the base. With everything else done, I paint the rim of the base black. After the paint dries and a matte varnish, it's on to the glamour shots. As I was making the winged snake, I wasn't sure how it would turn out. It honestly exceeded my expectations. The wings are gorgeous and things are nicely proportioned. The crest running down the serpent's back also looks fantastic.
please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Take care, be well, and until next time.